game from your perspective? Oh, man. Well, the first thing I want to say is how blessed I am to – this is my 14th year at Sam Houston, six as an assistant, eight as a head coach, and this is the 14th, 14th time I've been here. Uh, so, number one, I don't think you can ever take that for granted uh, to be able to have a chance to – Playing the conference tournament, so we're very blessed to be able to do that again uh, this year. Uh, our guys played great tonight. Um, you know, they came out ready to go. They were fired up and you know focused, locked in. And of course, you know when you have a guy make seven threes and get off to a good start like he did, uh, you know it made things a lot easier scoring the ball. The thing I was most proud of tonight was just the fact that we know how tough New Orleans is. We know how big they are. Uh, their, their starting lineup was way bigger than ours, but our guys just really fought well, and they did exactly what Coach Mudge put on the scouting report to take away. I thought we did a great job with that, and then we rebounded the ball tonight like we have early in the year and at times this year. And uh, It was just great fundamental blockouts. Did a great job tonight. Okay, open up for questions for the student-athletes, and we have here in the back. Identify yourself and to whom you're asking the questions. Uh, Matt Trent, NBC College Station. Josh, this is for you. At what point did you know that you were going to be hot, and what did it feel like once you kept seeing three after three drop? Uh, I, I'd probably say after I saw that third one go in, uh, because I think I came off a ball screen and I hit that three, and that's when I knew I, I think I was going to have a good night. And I came out in the second half, and I kept it going, and that's when it, and the teammates just kept giving me the ball, and I just wanted to keep shooting it, and thankfully that kept going in. Okay, Brandon. A uh, question uh, for you, John. Uh, just talk about the fact that you guys manhandled them on the boards, you know, on an edge of 45 to 23, especially to look at the offensive end of things, those, uh, the fact that you guys were able to dominate the class. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it was one of the keys to the game. Uh, offensive rebound, de defensive rebound, and especially on their guards because they they have big bodies. And I just feel like we did a good job executing the game plan. Nothing. Nothing. Question for you, Josh. Uh, were you able to see something in their defense that allowed you to uh, shoot as well as you did tonight? Uh, I felt like they definitely, the coaches in the scouting report, they told us that every time you come off a screen, they go under. And I felt like I took that to an advantage. And every time I took it to an advantage, and every time they went on the screen, I felt like I had an open shot. And they went in, and they also kind of play very deep in the gap so whenever our guards got great penetration like John does a lot of the time he gave me open shots and I, I knocked them in back in the back Brett. John the defense for you guys seemed to set the tone early how big was the defensive intensity for you guys not only to set up the offense but to just take them out of the game early uh, that's what we wanted to do you know set the tone as soon as the tip happened and uh you know, that's my job playing the point guard. So when the point guard brings it up, I just have to pressure him and try to make that offense stagnant. Okay, John. Yeah, my name is John Thompson uh, from Houston Media Source. This is a question both of y'all maybe can elaborate on. Your defense was great. On the defense side of the ball, y'all got most of the rebound. What would you attribute to getting the rebound on the defense side of the ball? Uh, I'll go first. Well, every day in practice, coach, is he's really heavy on defense so we felt like like he said today it's now or never and we had to come out and set the tone and defensively we feel like we have a kind of identity as a defensive team and we boxed out fundamentally like we practice all the time and we got the rebounds it's nothing about our, our athleticism we just boxed out and got the rebounds like we we're supposed to do okay who can you uh, uh say that actually growing up as a kid that you more or less looking at this person as a role model uh well Growing up, I definitely my favorite player was Dwayne Wade. I was a big Miami Heat fan, and I still. But kind of in the new age, people, I'd kind of say my favorite player right now is Kyrie Irving. What about you, John? Oh, uh, Kyrie Irving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks. No more questions for the players, guys. You are relieved. Get ready for tomorrow. Okay. Thank You're you. not. Appreciate okay. it. Okay. Now questions for. For Jason. Oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, quick uh, question for you guys. Bill, your thoughts on uh, facing the top seat tomorrow night? Uh, I guess I'll first. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, after the win tonight, I'm really not uh, satisfied. Uh, I still want more out of this. So 
I'll be energized to play C Law tomorrow. Uh, to elaborate on that, uh, like our, our coach told us earlier on, we beat them once this year, and we feel like our coaches do a great job with the game plan and the scouting report. And all we have to do is execute the scouting report, and we should have the same results today. Come out on top, get the victory, and get to Saturday's game. We have another one for the players, real quick. Okay. Thanks, guys. Now, questions for Jason. Y'all can go. Thanks for having us. Sleep fast. Okay. In the back. Coach, it's the same question that I asked John and uh, Josh. How big was it to come out right off the tip, get the defensive intensity up, and just totally take them out of their game early? Well, I think it's important against a physical team. You know, I think their philosophy is a lot like ours. I think they play hard. Schlesinger does a great job with his guys. They always compete. They're there every year. Um, they're physical. Um, and, you know, I thought that was important tonight. Just coming out and really establishing, you know, our identity. And, you know, I told our guys we, we need to, number one, we need to have some poise and handle adversity, but we need to be the tougher team and we need to be more physical from the tip. And I thought we did that. Okay. John. <laughs> Coach Hinton, congratulations. Thank you. Compared to the other team you had in the future, what would you say about this team this year? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, you know, this team's been fun to coach um, because you know, losing eight seniors last year, going into the year, I'm pretty sure that, you know, we were picked sixth. And, um, you know, I, I just think that these guys have kind of just improved, you know, game by game. and. Um, I don't want to say overachieve, but you know we just we, we just kind of talked about getting better at the beginning of the year. Yeah, I read a good book this summer about talking when you have a new team like that about talking about the difference in goals and destinations. I think sometimes when you talk about goals, guys get a little bit disappointed when maybe you if your goal is to win a championship and you don't do that. Sometimes it's just not in the cars to win a championship, especially with eight new players. So we talked about destinations, those that being here right now, that's a destination. And our goal this year was to get better as a team every day and to become even a better and better family. And I think these guys have done that. Um, they play for each other. They, they love each other. Um, they've been fun to coach. They've worked really, really hard. We've had great practices, which, you know, that's a big part of it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's weird, but even though we didn't play very well those last two games, I just still f got this feeling that these these guys aren't done, and there's a lot left. Hey, Coach, can you, uh, can you elaborate a little bit on the play of the post, like Josh, especially the big names you guys have played? Well, if teams, if you guys have been following our team all year long, um, obviously our weak weak link and our the weakest thing about our team is that we don't have any post play. Coach Wilson at Corpus and I, we've had a long discussion about this, and we both agree. You have to make a decision in this league. Uh, this is a very hard league to get big people. And so you have to take a chance and you have to take young kids. We did that. I got a seven footer sitting over there that played about a minute tonight. I got a six nine kid that played a little bit more tonight. But those two guys are just not quite there yet. They're not ready. I signed a Juco All-American in, in May and he tore his ACL in August. And he played the best game he's played all year long tonight. But he's still about 80%. So. You know, we, we've been behind the eight ball all year long. I, don't, I mean, we don't complain. We don't talk about it. But, you know, obviously you saw how well we played tonight and we got some great play out of him. You know, and if he'll play like that again, we're going we're gonna to be pretty good again. And it's just part of the game. You know, injuries are part of it. You know, I told our guys, you just line up and you play. And I think our guys have done that, um, you know, every game. Hey, Brandon. Uh, your thought. Your thoughts on uh, facing uh, the top seed tomorrow night? Well, they're really good. You know, we were fortunate to play them just once this year at our place, um, and we played pretty well. I think we were up 12 with a couple minutes to go and hung on and won by six or whatever it was. It was a close game. They're very well coached. Uh, Jay does a great job, um, and, and they're physical. They're just like this team tonight. They're very physical. The difference in their team and this team tonight is they're older. Uh, this team tonight's got a bunch of young kids. 
And these guys are experienced. They're old. They got some seniors on their team. I think the other thing about them is they've faced a lot of adversity this year. And to still see them here as the number one seed after the adversity they face says, says a lot about their program. It's going to be a tough game. Uh, we got our hands full. But, you know, we're going to get ready tonight and we'll be ready to go tomorrow. We have time for one last question. Coach, after Josh, during Josh's performance from the three point line, was it tough to not be a spectator after shot after shot went in? And did, did you find it hard to just keep coaching after his hot streak shooting? No, the toughest thing about coaching when you have a 24 point lead is looking up at that clock and wishing that it says zero, 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 zero. You know, and I told the guys at halftime I meant this, but you know, we lost a game at Lamar this year when we had an 18 point lead at halftime and we had a 15 point lead early in the second half and we got beaten overtime. And just about any wild thing that can happen in a basketball game did. But I told our guys at halftime that the man upstairs, there's a reason everything happens. And that game that night prepared us for this game tonight because it would have been really easy for us to come out in the second half and let those guys go on a run and get back in it. But we just, we just came out, we were ready to go. And again, I think we learned from that. But you know, Josh is, I mean, Josh is a, he's a guy that everybody wants on your team. Uh, he's just a, he's a role player that overachieves and does more than a role player should do. And that's just the easiest way I can explain it. You know, we, we've, we've tried to get some guys to beat him out and you know, he just, he's just always there. He's got unbelievable character and you know, for a 5'11 guy, he's, he does one thing really, really well and that's, he shoots the ball. And uh, he just had a great night tonight. And, you know, in order to win games like this, you, you've got to have somebody. I mean, looking at the stats tonight, you know, our best player, Chris Galbraith, had seven points, seven rebounds. So, you know, to have a guy step up like that at the right time um, says a lot about our team and says a lot about Josh as a person. Okay. Jason, thank you. Okay. See you tomorrow night.